And what do you think of the Colts? John, how do you feel about the Jaguars today? And what do you think of the Jaguars? John, I know you talked to the Chiefs last night. What do you think? And what about the Chiefs? Well, John, give us your take on the Dolphins today. And now, what about the Dolphins? John, what sort of performance can we expect from the Vikings today? And now, what about the Vikings? John, what kind of a game do you think the Patriots are going to have? Bat, this team is solid at every position. When you look around, you see an all-pro at almost every spot. Then you really feel confident. And I'll tell you what, these guys deserve to feel that way. And what do you think of the Patriots? John, give us your take on the Saints today. And what about the Saints? John, what sort of performance can we expect from the Giants today? And what about the Giants? John, tell us about the Jets today. And how are the Jets looking? John, what can we look for from the Raiders today? And how are the Raiders looking? John, what do you think about the Eagles today? This is a team that has the fundamentals down. Running, passing, defense, special teams. There isn't anything they don't do well. And when a team excels at everything they do, you know that this is going to be a fun game to watch. And what's your opinion on the Eagles? John, what do you think is ahead for the Steelers today? How are the Steelers looking? John, I know you talked to the Rams last night. What do you think? And now, what about the Rams? John, what can we look for from the Chargers today? And how about the Chargers? John, how do you feel about the 49ers today? And how about the 49ers? John, what do you think about the Seahawks today? Well, they've clinched a spot in the playoffs, but that doesn't mean they can relax. They still have to fight for that home field advantage because that makes a big difference. And what do you think of the Seahawks? John, what do you think about the Buccaneers so far? And what's your opinion on the Bucks? John, you saw the Redskins practice. How do you feel about them today? And how about the Redskins? Hello, everyone, and welcome to the game. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's game. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the wild card round of the playoffs. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the divisional playoffs. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the AFC Championship game. Well, they're going to be in the playoffs for sure. So now they're playing for that first round bye. I'll tell you what, that extra week off is really important. So these guys aren't going to let up today. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the NFC Championship game. Hello, everyone, and welcome to San Diego and Super Bowl 32. Hello, everyone. I'm James Brown, and this is the AFC Championship game. A trip to San Diego and Super Bowl 32 awaits the victor in today's great battle, while the losers will have to wait another year. Hello and welcome to the Divisional Playoffs. I'm James Brown. Today, we'll see if those division winners can keep up the high level of play and meet the expectations they built up during the regular season. Hello and welcome to the Divisional Playoffs. I'm James Brown. Today, we'll see if those division winners can keep up the high level of play and meet the expectations they built up during the regular season. Hello and welcome to the NFC Championship game. I'm James Brown. The NFC has won an unprecedented 14 straight Super Bowls, so prepare yourself for an all-out war to see who will represent them this year. Hello and welcome to Honolulu, Hawaii and the Pro Bowl game. Now this year's matchup should be a good one. Both teams want to prove that their league is dominant and the best players in football are ready to show how they got here. Welcome to the EA Sports Pro Bowl Halftime Report. I'm James Brown. Now let's take a look at some of these statistics from today's game. Hello everyone and welcome to San Diego, California and Super Bowl 32. 
We've had an exciting week of parties and celebrations, ending with the crowning of a new Madden Bowl champion. But this is the day we've all been waiting for, the single greatest day in sports as we watch the AFC and NFC champions do battle for the Lombardi Trophy. After a long season and a great playoff run, the two best teams in football are as ready as they'll ever be. Hello everyone, welcome to beautiful San Diego and Super Bowl 32. Today, the best teams in the NFL will do battle in front of an audience of millions of people for the coveted title of world champion. We've had an exciting week of preparations, but it all comes down to the next 60 minutes of football. Right now, let's take you out to Pat Summerall and John Madden, who will call today's game. Well, Pat, they're in the playoffs and they got their eye in the Super Bowl. But I'll tell you one thing, that's a great feeling but there's still a long way to go before they get there. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new season of exciting NFL football. I'm James Brown. With an unprecedented number of free agent signings and coaching changes in the offseason, there's no clear frontrunner in the NFL this year. With the Super Bowl up for grabs, this should be one of the most competitive and unpredictable seasons in NFL history. It's halftime here at the Super Bowl, and while the two best teams in football reconsider their strategies, let's take a look at some of the statistics from the game. Hello everyone and welcome to the NFL Playoffs. I'm James Brown. The wild card round always features some great matchups as well as a surprise or two. It's a whole new season now, so get ready for exciting high energy football. Hello everyone and welcome to the NFL Playoffs. I'm James Brown. The wild card round always features some great matchups as well as a surprise or two. It's a whole new season now, so get ready for exciting high energy football. Pat, these guys are on a roll. They had a bad time at the beginning of the season, and then they got turned around and they're picking up steam. The mood of the players is a lot different from what it was a few weeks ago. Well, Pat, they got off to a real slow start this year, and then boom, they just took off. Now, if they can keep up the momentum, they can still make the playoffs. And I'll tell you what, I think we're going to see a real good performance today. When a team turns around the way this one has, you have to give credit to the coach because the key ingredient in turning a bad team into a good team is leadership. They're feeling better about themselves now, and that's turning into good performance on the field. These guys look okay in practice, but they're having a heck of a time getting it all together on Sunday. They've lost several games in a row now, and that affects everyone's confidence. What they have to do is put it all behind them and concentrate on today's game. Well, they either played some really good defenses or their offense just failed to perform. They need to turn it around soon, a couple more losses, and they could dig themselves a hole that they'll never get out of. Well, Pat, nothing seems to be going right for these guys. It's a vicious circle. Their poor performance hurts their morale, and their poor morale hurts their performance. I'll tell you what, they need a win right here to break that cycle. Pat, it's tough to make predictions at this point. This is a big game for everyone. Players spend their whole lives dreaming about playing in the Super Bowl, and this game will decide if they're going to do it, and that is what's on everybody's mind. Well, they got a first round bye, so they had an extra week to rest their injuries and scout their opponents. Now, that's real important. It doesn't guarantee success, but that extra week off is a big advantage. Well, they clinched the home field advantage, and that's important in the playoffs. You want as many factors in your favor as possible. And I'll tell you what, that crowd can make a big difference. Well, of course, they're coming off a win in a wild card round, and a recent win is good for anyone's confidence. But they know that they're up against a superior team here, and confidence doesn't win games all by itself. Well, now, these guys are out of the playoffs, and they're just playing for the fun of the game and because they like it. Everybody wants to win, 
But a real football player wants to keep playing whether he wins or not. That's why you play, because you love the game. At this point in the season, they're just playing for pride. They won't be in any postseason games this year. But they've still got a game to play, and they still have to give it their best. They owe it to their fans, and they owe it to themselves. Well, Pat, anyone looks great when you win. But the true test of character is how you handle yourself when you lose. Now, these guys have had a bad year. They're out of the playoff race. But I'll tell you one thing. They're still in there fighting. This game will be decided in the trenches. Now, I think you can say that about any game, but this one especially. And I'll tell you what they have to do. They have to control the line of scrimmage. They have to dominate the line, protect for the quarterback, open holes for the running backs, and if they do that, they'll win. Bat, both these teams are really solid, and that means we should see great strategy, great execution, and a great game of football. Unless somebody makes a serious mistake, this one could go right down to the wire. Bat, we should see an exciting game today. Now, both these teams are good, and right now, nobody can say who's going to win it because it's going to come down to fundamentals, running, passing, blocking, tackling, and, of course, avoiding mistakes. I'll tell you, these are the kind of weeks that really test a coach. When you bring your team strong out of the gate, it's hard to regain that momentum after some tough losses. Well, their season got off to a great start, and then, whap, they just ran into a wall. But we know they can perform because we've seen them do it. Now, they may be down, but they probably won't stay down. Well, Pat, something started to go wrong with these guys a few weeks ago, and they've had a tough time shaking it. They need to bring back that fire they started with at the beginning of the season. And I'll tell you what, a win today would really help their confidence. Well, what can you say about these guys? They're really on fire. They're on a hot streak right now. And when you can string together wins like that, it shows you have what it takes to win it all. Well, what they've been doing is really changing it up, and they're not coming out and running on every first down. They're shuffling their offense around, and they're keeping their opponents off balance. And I think that's why they're on such a hot streak right now. Well, Pat, they've won several games in a row now, and you have to wonder if it's ever going to stop. When things start going well for a team, the momentum just builds and builds. The main thing now is to keep from getting overconfident. The best thing about football is that it's fun. You have to keep the game fun for both the players and the fans. And you do that by winning games and playing good football. Now, this team needs to get back to the basics and try to overcome that loss last week. Well, they took a tough loss last week, and that hurt their pride, and they're looking to redeem themselves. These guys have something to prove, and that'll give them all the motivation they need. Pat, I talked to the team about last week's loss, and they're determined not to let that happen again. You can tell that everyone is totally committed to a win today. Well, several of their best guys were out with injuries. This team will really have to step up their game in order to have a chance. And now we're going to have an opportunity to see what their younger guys and their rookies can do. Pat, these guys are really banged up. They've got injuries at several key positions, and that is really going to hurt. They need to get healthy in a hurry if they're going to contend. Pat, you know how they used to see how many guys you could put into a phone booth? Well, these guys look like they're trying to see how many football players they can get into a whirlpool. Just seems like the whole team's injured. I'll tell you, they're going to test the corners today. Now, the defense knows they're going to pass, and they know who's going to get the ball. The question is whether they can take that quick out and that quick slant away from them. Well, you know what they're going to do. They're going to come out passing, and they're going to pass to the right. They're going to pass to the left. They're going to pass over the middle. Now, no one has proven that they can stop them. So until someone comes up with a defense to contain their passing game, they're going to keep right on doing it. If they're smart, they're going to get the ball to their wide receivers and let them run with it because when these guys get in the open field, they're tough to bring down. But I'll tell you what, I'd also like to see them throw a little more deep. Hey, this team is prone to penalties, but they have to make sure that they don't hurt themselves because if you give this offense a chance to score, they'll really take advantage of it. Well, I'll tell you, they've been getting a lot of penalties lately, and that's the kind of thing that drives coaches crazy because it's tough to win games when you're always getting pushed back 5, 10, 15 yards. Well, Pat, I'll tell you, the big stat for this team so far is the number of penalties they've been getting. Penalties are a sign of bad discipline. I'll tell you what, these guys got to buckle down and get it right. 
Well, when you've lost your starting quarterback, then you have to adjust things for your backup guy. In order for them to win this game, they need to make use of his strengths and give him a chance to adjust to his new role. Well, we finally made it to San Diego. Now let's head into the stadium for Super Bowl 32. I'm John Madden. Welcome to Madden NFL 98. Well, they're going to have to contend with a lot of blitzes. When you have a backup quarterback in there, they try to disrupt him as much as possible. The offensive line will have to make sure he has enough time to throw. You know, when your starting quarterback is injured, that's always trouble. And everybody has to make an adjustment to a new style. The receivers, the running backs, but especially the offensive linemen. Now we'll see if the team can keep it in sync. Well, of course, a ball control team depends on their running backs. And right now, these guys are hurting in that department. They're going to have to go to more ball control passing to be in this game. Well, they lost one of their best running backs, and that's got to be tough. Because running backs don't only run, they also block and pass protect. And we'll have to see how they react today. You know, Pat, even a good passing team needs a good running back to help block and act as a safety valve when nobody's open. And when your best back is injured, then you need to rethink your strategy some. They have to win with their running game. Now, they've done that in the past, and it should carry them in this game as well. They have to play ball control football. Well, this is a great running team. Now, if their offensive line can give their backs an opening, they will exploit it. Their best chance today is to create those holes and give their backs a chance to perform. Well, Pat, they're fired up. Their opponents are fired up. They're getting ready to play in front of millions and millions of people. It is the greatest feeling in the world. I'll tell you what, it doesn't get any better than this. Because if you win this one, if you win the Super Bowl, they can never take it away from you. Well, Pat, they're coming into the playoffs as the winners of their division, so they're already feeling pretty good about that. But at this point, it's a whole new season, and you can't rest on your laurels. Well, they've made the playoffs as a wild card team, so the odds are kind of against them. But they made the playoffs, and that's the important thing. From this point on, you have to forget about the past and concentrate on your opponent. I'll tell you, I think we're going to see a high-scoring game here because their offense can score a lot of points, but their defense can't stop anybody. So they're really going to have to struggle to keep the other guys out of the end zone. Well, their defense is their biggest problem right now. They're going to have trouble keeping their opponents contained, and that means their offense is going to have to put points on the board. I'll tell you, offensive performance is going to win the game for these guys because they don't have a lot of defense right now, and that means their offense is just going to have to go out there and outperform their opponents. Yeah, the key to their success today will be in their defense, because they don't have a lot of offense, and they have to keep the other guys bottled up. 
I'll tell you what they should do. They should change up coverages and blitz a lot from all angles. Well, I'll tell you, these guys are going to have trouble scoring a lot of points, and that means that their defense is going to have to make sure the other guys don't score a lot of points either. Their first priority has to be containing their opponents. Defense and special teams are really critical here. Their offense isn't very strong, so they'll have to rely on special teams to get them good field position. Then the defense to keep the other guys off the scoreboard. Well, they're not very strong right now, and that means they can't afford any mistakes at all. One or two turnovers could really kill them. They're just going to have to go out there and scrap. They're going to have to come out fired up, and if they don't score early, it could really be a rough day for them. They have to come out and show that they can play with these guys right off the bat. I'll tell you what, they've got to come out and score early because if they can build up a lead, then they'll get the confidence they need to win this game. And they might get a lucky break or two. Well, you know, Pat, they're coming off that huge win last week, but they have to be able to keep that same intensity. There's always a chance for a letdown, and that's the coach's job, to keep the team focused and in the game. Well, they had a big win last week, so that's got everybody feeling pretty good. But you can't let it distract you. You still got to go out and play 60 minutes of good football. Hey, I'll tell you, these guys are fired up. They're still excited by last week's win, but they're ready to play. Now, if they score early, they'll probably stay fired up. But if they have a bad first quarter, then that could change the mood real quick. One thing they told us last night is their star wide receiver won't be ready to go today, and that's going to hurt. But if they can spread out the work and get some of their speed guys into the offense, then they still have a chance to pull it out. Well, Pat, I'll tell you one thing. When your key wide receiver is injured, that puts a heck of a lot of pressure on the rest of the receiving core because the defense knows that they don't have them out there to worry about. So then they realign their coverage to focus on the other guys. Well, as I said before, this is a league of stars, and the passing game is dominant. Now, when your star wide receiver is hurt, then you have to adjust for the fact that you don't have that talent out there in the field play after play, and they're just going to have to figure out something else. John, what kind of a game do you think the Cardinals are going to have? And what about the Cardinals? John, what do you think is ahead for the Falcons today? And how about the Falcons? John, how are the Ravens looking today? I'll tell you, this game is filled with key matchups. If they can dominate the individual matchups, then they have a great chance of winning the game. They've got to make good personnel decisions on both sides of the ball. And what's your opinion on the Ravens? John, what can we expect from the Bills today? And how are the Bills looking? John, what do you think about the Panthers today? And what about the Panthers? John, tell us about the Bears today. And what about the Bears? John, what's going on with the Bengals today? And what do you think of the Bengals? John, you saw the Cowboys practice. How do you feel about them today? I'll tell you what. They have to keep this game close. They know that they're not going to blow anybody out. And if they're within a score after the third quarter, then they have a good chance of pulling out a win. And how are the Cowboys looking? John, what's your opinion about the Broncos today? And now, what about the Broncos? John, what's going on with the Lions today? And now, what about the Lions? John, what's your feeling about the Packers today? And how about the Packers? John, what can we expect from the Oilers today? And what's your opinion on the Oilers? John, how are the Colts looking today? I wouldn't be surprised to see them stretch out the defense because the more they air it out, the more those defensive backs will have to loosen up before each play. And I'll tell you, these guys have to be aggressive right now if they want to get in the playoffs.